a global recession, the likes of which we've never seen. Some called it a perfect storm. Others here say it's a tall order. In the last three months, the uh, global economy has taken a turn for the worse, and financial markets have remained under extreme stress. It's the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. With the prime ministers of Russia and China criticizing the United States, more than 40 heads of state were on hand in the Swiss alpine hamlet of Davos for the World Economic Forum. The theme of this year's event is shaping the post-crisis world. They're here to talk about what went wrong and how to fix it. And it's a grim outlook, one that's affecting this otherwise glitzy gathering. The mood is much more somber. Uh, the parties are less flamboyant. They're still parties, but less flamboyant. Uh, we haven't got Sharon Stone. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of hard work. Experts agree the stimulus packages being approved by developed nations, including the U.S., may help, but will not be enough to pull the world out of the current crisis. It's a serious problem, but there's no quick fix for it. Uh, and, and, and this is a year of outright decline in world GDP. Next year will be a year, we hope, we don't know for sure, of a modest increase. Even growth. that forecast was too optimistic for some. Based upon experience in Japan, capital injection is needed, but this is not enough. That's our experience. What we need now is accurate assessment of asset. It's one of many solutions global leaders are discussing over the next few days, all focused on the worldwide economic collapse. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.